Greetings and salutations, Relax Gamer Nation, and welcome back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to a certain. What are we calling this? Automations Unleashed. <laughs> wow. So today, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, but. Well, originally I wanted to do something else, but I have no idea what that something else is. We got the roof done, and there's only really one big project left to do on the base, and that is building this ship, whatever this ship is going to be. Um, and although I would have liked to do it on the... Why do I have a thruster there? That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't notice that until now. What can I put there instead? Yeah, I'll just... Mm. Yeah, I'll just put that there. Um, so this is the only other project we need to work on um, that's kind of in the works and started on. And I have to figure out a way to get this area here to connect to this area over here. I am thinking I'm going to bring the stairs up over here somehow. Um, yeah, that is definitely the question. Like, how am I going to do this? Maybe I'll go with something like, oh, it's not going to let me. Why you not let me? Why you not let me game? I guess it needs to block up there too. Do something okay first off let's see here I could maybe the half door will fine work better here because this is the bottom of the 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 away ship the scouting ship though wh whatever it's called i'm not sure the captain's shuttle so i need to basically flush this out somehow could i perhaps do something yeah i'm gonna have to work on this but yeah, that, that's, that's what brings me to this is that I need to work on this and a live stream is all fine and dandy, except I have absolutely no time to do a live stream right now. And like I said, this is the project that is still outstanding and I want to not make it outstanding. So what I am going to do here is not make it outstanding in some way or form by building it now it's going to take me a while to do this for sure uh, but what i'm going to do right now is uh, i gave you the the background of what i want to do on this uh well not really I gave you the background of what i want to do in this episode hey look the sun and i think that's what i'm going to do here um, we need to detach this from this for me to actually work on this because I want some blocks in there that kind of flush up to it, but don't quite flush up to it. Like I might have no, nothing. I probably can't do anything here. But I can probably do something elsewhere. Let's 
Um, do this and that. Then we'll replace this block here. But we need to secure it temporarily. Um, scaffold. Oh, those are card girders. Okay. Well, I'll just secure it temporarily like this. And does that work? No, I have to go here. Yep, that'll work. So that's secured temporarily. I need to get rid of this. Got to replace that. Then I can get rid of these temps. And we will revisit this. And I can take this. And we can... No, I'm going to put this block in here. So, I got a lot of thinking to do here. A lot of manipulating, modifying, and the like. So, that's what I'm going to do. And I will bring you back when I have some more uh, progress done on this thing. Uh, I don't want this video to go way too long. And I know this is going to take me a really long time. When it comes to planning, modifying, updating, changing, modifying, changing, updating, modifying. You know how it goes. Space engineers. It's like, yeah, you have a great idea initially. And then something happens and your great idea gets turned to trash. Hmm. I need to put walls on here. How am I going to do that? You know what? That's one of the questions I'm going to deal with. And I will bring you back when I have some uh, more progress or if something else exciting happens, like something comes by and decides to pick on us. Like that grub, it's getting fairly close. There's another one out there, but I don't think it's going to come into range, but we'll see. I'll bring you back if that happens. Okay, so here's an update. I mirrored the uh, booster nasals here. Um, yeah, so those are mirrored. And uh, they're in place, and I started working on the bottom here. I also modified the booster nacelles to be fairly uh, identical on both sides, with exception to the thruster being put on a different side, as well as the connector that uh, gives them gives the fuel. So that's done uh, I can cover these up I might actually make two separate blueprints uh, like booster nacelle one or left booster nacelle right so yeah um, that's about it uh, I got that put together this is a pain in the butt but it's fine I think I need to do something here. I need to do that. Okay. Um, I also reduced the hydrogen tanks to two additional. I have no idea if that's going to be enough. We have two large and two small. Theoretically, it should be fine. But I won't know until I actually test it. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll have to mirror, put extra thruster, uh, extra hydrogen tanks on the bottom here. And change a whole bunch of this stuff up. Because the bottom is different than the top. In the design. 
because the bottom doesn't have to worry about intersecting with flat walls. So I might I might make that very similar, very close to what uh, what the other one is. But uh, yeah, that's what I've done so far. That took me a little while. Um, my next order of business is to get the belly sorted out, which includes uh, getting that stairway in place. At least the stairway that connects to this, and then figure out how to do it for down here. Chances are I'm going to have to bring this all the way back. I actually intended to bring this all the way back uh after my third rendition idea, I want it to actually go way back. Because the body, the main body here, is going to be what holds all the other stuff, like the uh, heavy duty processing stuff, the uh, jump drives. I'm going to be putting in multiple jump drives. Um, the hydrogen center to basically refuel these boosters, etc. Uh, this part, this portion will also be primarily built out of ion thrusters. Um, it's going to be ion thrusters while this part is going to be atmosphere, well, hydrogen thrusters. And I was considering doing this section as atmospheric thrusters, but I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work. Basically, I want this to get around by itself uh, on a planet without having to load up these boosters. Basically, it gets down to the planet. The boosters are either dropped or parachuted or whatever. And then this is basically a atmospheric skiff. I don't know how I'm going to manage that. Uh, we do have those, uh, those newer, um, Short thrusters or small thrusters. What are they called? The uh, the flat atmospheric thrusters. But I'm not sure if I've made enough space for them. Because we can happily put these along. Oh, it might be fine. to break to because we're going to have to extend this out a bit more as well probably bring it to the thruster back or maybe go just slightly past it I'm not sure we can do something like let's rip that up rip that up Oh, we have gravity. Oh, I hope those got captured fast enough. <laughs> I don't know if this will be enough lift. It probably won't be. I'll do three back here. Two. I could probably... No, I think that's fine. I don't think that's going to be enough lift, but it might be. I have yet to actually test it on a planet. Well, actually I have to, I have yet to actually complete it and then test it on a planet. But if I go with that and say, we can actually, because three of these is equal to one. Like one large thruster. I'm gonna have to pink these. Um, the 
the stairs are gonna be in here. This should be safe. Don't know if I have enough room there. That's not going to work. I have to put the stairs in and figure out where to put doors. Or I do a lift. No, because I need stairs to go from here to there. Putting a lift... has potential but I don't I don't I don't think it's gonna work well these are actually quite thick eh. okay well let me let me marinate and ruminate and stuff like that and I will bring you by guys back when I have uh, some more stuff done Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what have we got going on so far? Well, I am not happy with these stairs, so these are going to be re-figured out again. Um, I was trying to go with an asymmetrical design, but it wasn't quite working out too well. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to extend this out one more. Can be purpled, yeah. And um, maybe do something uh, I'm having a hell of a time with these stairs. Hell of a time. I guess what I could do is I could just drop the stairs directly off here. Somehow. Yeah. Let's do that. That might be the simpler choice here. Um... Don't know if I have enough space to go down here. 254. I hope they don't come too much closer. Wait. Uh oh. oh. Did they jump out? Oh, 257. Shh. Okay, they're pulling away. Ooh, okay. So I can do that. Two six two two six three. Okay, we're fine. And they're not gonna bug us, I hope. I hope. Now, what I also have to figure out is how do I connect this in here? I guess what I could possibly do. Oops. Oh, with that, no. Grr. I need to fit my thrusters in here. I'm going to be putting two of these thrusters in. I'm just trying to figure out the location for them ok 
because we know that two, uh, three of three of the half thrusters, if you would, equal one of the non-half thrusters, one of the standard thrusters. So I'm hoping that these two plus the what do we got here? I might actually add another one in here. So we have six, 12, which is equal to one, two, three, four thrusters. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. No, I can't do that. Shoot. That will compromise my air tightness. Or are we already compromised? Oh, we might already be compromised. Shoot. I might have to get rid of these thrusters completely. Because these are not our airtight. What I could do is... Can I add one here? Probably. Yeah, I can add one there. Do this. Add one there and here. Go over here. Add one there and there. I get rid of these ones. Because I need the cab to be airtight at the very least. And those hydrogen tanks are not airtight. And I could add another one here. Because this is going to be all non-airtight. So if we get rid of this. And this. And put in a couple of these. Change this out. Yeah, that'll work. So that's four thrusters. I really wanted to break them up, but... Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. And we got these two thrusters that are angled the wrong way. Forgot there's an actual. Well, it's not a. It is a. It's a design angle. So we'll come across here. I might actually put thrusters in there, just small thrusters. This grid down here is going to be much longer, I think. <sighs> and I have separation here. So I could 
bring the separation in one more. Two more, actually. is critical. Come on, get in the seat. So yeah, it's coming together. Uh, my my entire focus is on this project right now. Um, I got a little bit more to do, and hopefully by the end of this episode, that will be complete. At least, mostly complete. Yeah, so hopefully by the end of the episode, this will be complete. Um, it may not be 100% functional, but it will be complete. I'm hoping to get it functional, however. Uh, let's, let's go through what I also have set up here. So, we have our cabin. Uh, this is where I'm going to have this and probably other things, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I don't know why I have so much space here. I think it's purely because of the air tightness. That's probably it. I might change it. Um, shrink this cab down. Significantly. Because ideally, all I need is like this section right here with the with the glass or the front cab or the front cockpit or bridge or whatever you want to call it. But I got to make some adjustments here in order to fit certain things in place. Because right now this entire area, if it was covered, would be airtight. Because of the blocks I have underneath it. Do I need an oxygen tank? It's not a bad idea. I could rip out this zone here and put in um, oxygen generation. But I might actually build it into this system here. I don't know. I could probably put three right here. And that will connect here via conveyor. Hmm. Questions, questions, questions. Now, the idea of this skiff or whatever, actually, I could probably, no, I can't. Well, I could, maybe. Okay, let, let me get back on track here. The whole idea of this is to maneuver on a planetary body of some sort using atmospheric engines. Uh, the nacelles here will be disconnected and or built to order on the planet to hook it in to connect them up with this. Now, if I decide to go with, which I think I am, to go with uh, a left and a right blueprint, then I don't need these extra merge blocks. However, on the other hand, let's say I need more nacelle power to take off from the planet. I could 
build another set of these and hook it on here. And of course, get rid of this and move it. So it's, it's modular in a sense, if I keep those merge blocks there. Uh, this thruster used to be up here, but I moved it because it just did not work up there. And I wanted to, this to be as close to the body as possible. Thought I saw sparks. So they're not ginormous. They're flush with the bottom. Uh, I'm going to put uh, landing plates down here. Oh, not that big, but just a few of these. We'll do two for now. Maybe back here, I'll actually put some proper gears. Though I may change them. <laughs> That's just how things go in Space Engineers. It's like, yeah, I could put that there. Uh, I don't quite like it anymore. So I'm going to change it. Yeah, something like that. But I think... I think I'm going to move the cab up forwards. Move all this stuff forwards. That would give me more room back here for whatever. Uh, the idea of this is to go down to a planet with just the bare minimums being your survival kit. And maybe make it, make it have enough room to put in other things like a basic refinery or a um, basic assembler. Or even a full-size refinery and assembler, though that kind of defeats a purpose. But if we move all this back, we can move the stairs. But uh, no, we can't move the stairs back. Well, we can move the stairs back one more if we move all this forward. And I think I might put some separators in here. Like conveyors. Ugh. Uh, so many questions, so many ideas. But you know my, what I'm going to think on this and I'm gonna do a bit more. I'm probably going to move all this stuff forward as forward as possible. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, um, I'll be back shortly. I think I finally got something. <laughs> so, uh, where are we? Let's do this. I'm sitting down and grabbing energy. So, what have we done? A lot, actually. Uh, we encased the, ca the cab here, the cockpit, and I did bring the cockpit forward, and this is actually airtight because whenever I run this, it, uh, it gives me an error being like, oh, there's nothing to calculate. So this area is airtight. Um, instead of going with a traditional two-door airlock, I have a mod in here. This is the... Uh, airlock, uh, rotary airlock. Um, I completely forgot about it. 
and uh, here it is. Then we shrunk this area down a bit too. Well, actually just repopulated this area. Now it's got a survival kit and air. And the we have cargo access on this side and the other side, which is great. We got another rotary airlock here. Then we go into here. This is uh, going to be our um, utility section. Basically where our programming blocks go, where our uh, turret blocks go, etc. cetera. Um, now these, these turret controllers are probably not gonna stay here. Um, I just wanted to put them in there for sizing purposes, just in case I wanted to put the big ones in. Because what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be building some custom turrets on this. So I'm going to have uh, three, I think I'm going to go with three custom turrets. Uh, one over here, one on the bottom. Somewhere. And uh, one near the front here. Uh, probably on the roof or maybe in this little transitional area. Uh, we put a gravity generator on here. Um, it's not fully configured yet. As you can see, it's just a 10 by 10 by 10 cube. But that's going to be the gravity generator for the uh, scouter section. The section that uh, 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 roams planets. And I'm going to have another gravity generator for the frigate section. Oh, what's going on? Oh no! I am dying of air loss. Shoot. I am going to die. I am going to die. I am about to die. Frick, I have nothing out here to help me. Hold on, hold on. Bottle. Ah. Well, that happened. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm like doing a little bit of a tour and uh, my air runs out. <laughs> Figures. Typical. Typical, 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 typical. shoot I didn't do that right oh well uh, I died out here <laughs> so let's grab our tools our hydrogen our oxygen get rid of these okay let's return to the tour <laughs> So this is this part is going to be the frigate section. Uh, basically, uh, it will probably have its own bridge, maybe. But this is a section that's going to stay in space. Uh, it's going to have all the heavy machinery on it, like the multiple jump drives, etc. I mentioned that earlier. So it's going to have its own gravity generator or gravity generators. Uh, depending on how big this manages to become. And we have our hover section here. So we got two of these big flat hover things. I have no idea if it's going to work under full load on, uh, on say, Pertum. Because I think Pertum is one of the heavier planets. So we'll test that out. Uh, it's got forward thrust, it's got side stabilizing thrust. And it's got uh, backwards thrusts. Now, this is fine. Uh, let's see if I can. As you can see, the thrust goes out to here. But it does not impact the block here I just wanted to fit it in there fit it in snug and that's what I did uh, we have a whole bunch of lifting thrust we have of course the two bigger lifting thrust and then we got 10 more lifting thrusts down here 
5, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait, more than that. 5, 10, 15, yeah, 13. I thought it was only 10 last time, uh, whatever. But we got 13 of these lifting thrusts down here. That's equivalent to uh, what? Uh, 13, four small thrusters. So four and a third <laughs> or quarter or four and a third. Yeah, four and a third, something like that. So that's what's been done on this. Now, I think I've come out with a, with a final design here. Uh, we have the cockpit airtight. Um, how do I get rid of this? Control plus, right? Control plus to psycho. There we go. Overlays off. Control plus to cycle. So I just have to configure this and uh, seal it in somehow. I'll probably just seal it in with armor panels. I might do like block here. Yeah, I'll probably put a block there. It was an afterthought. Let's grab some steel. I don't need the other stuff yet. So this is the main functional part of the uh, ship. Um... Oh, we can just seal this in here. We can go. We can go like this. That'll be sealed. That'll give us a little bit more roof in here. Actually, I don't need to do that. I'll do something else for that. But this is pretty much uh, ready to go. Well, not ready, ready to go, but it's pretty much complete. It's mostly functional. Uh, I got to cover this with armor then I might do glass in here I might do some glass in there I'm not sure that's just the utility area I don't really need to do glass in there I can just put down um, oops. just put down some blocks here But I'm going to put glass in here. I'll do the three two by three glass. I have no girders, of course. So I wasn't expecting to put glass in yet. Steel. Girders. I might put double glass in there. We got this glass and then maybe I'll put another sh uh, sheet of glass in there as well. So when this is landed, um, oh shoot, screwed up. I guess I could get rid of two of these. This was the land that I need to be able to get out, right? I'm going to revisit the stairs. Again. Because when it's landed, I'm not going to have enough 
space to get out. I have all these thrusters in here. Get rid of that. Maybe get rid of these thrusters. Cut that part out. Um, that's fine. And we'll put some armor down. Okay, so we just cut back my thrust. Crappy. Should be fine. Maybe. But now we can actually get in and out. if it's landed on a planet which I still have to figure out where to put landing gear um, this is gonna have probably a gear here I might move these gears to the engines then I gotta do something over here But, you know what? I think this is going to be as complete as it's going to get for this episode. Um, we actually did a lot. We built a whole new nacelle. We went through multiple design iterations here. <laughs> uh, we got the stairs, and they will actually work when landed now. I could put thrusters over here. Change these out. Yeah. There's gonna be a bunch of design work, for sure. As I figure it out. Oh, I also have that. I also have a little back viewing window. Let's actually get in here. I have a back viewing window so you can see the engines and whatever is behind you for the most part. Well, lower behind you. I might get rid of these so that I can get closer to it. Maybe we'll see. One thing I got to get on here, though, maybe not an immediate thing, is a bed. But we have a lot more options for beds right now, so I could probably just put a bed here, really. Because we have the uh, planet, the um, daytime, nighttime speed up thingy. And we have lots of beds now. We got your standard. That is not a bed. That's a bed, that's a bed. Didn't we have a full bed as well? A new full bed? I thought we did. 
Yeah. Inset bed. But that'll block out the... Actually, oh no, I have to... Mm. I could put it there, but unfortunately that's going to disconnect the gravity generator. Or will it? It probably did. Yep, it did. Or I just didn't have interior plates. Which appears to be the case. That'll buff out. Wait. There we go. Just a little bit of theft. Inset bed. I'll put the gravity generator back up here. Put that there. Perfect. We have a bed. Place to get energy. Place to sleep when we're on planet. There's other inset things I can put on here for sure. But yeah, that's this is great having the inset bed. And that's part of the Deco Pack 3. So, definitely one of the packs that I would recommend is Deco Pack 3. But don't take my, my, uh, my, uh, word. Do what you can. Okay, we got a bed. Nice. There's stuff we can do up there. And uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll come back to this. We'll circle back uh, for the next episode. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, like everybody uh, says. Everybody and their dog. And their cat and their gerbil and their goldfish. Like, comment, subscribe three most important things that a viewer can do the second most important thing a viewer could do is comment put down anything <laughs> but you know what well, that's going to be it i got a lot done on this i think i am mostly happy with it right now so we will see you guys in the next episode yeah